Alright, hello and welcome to FMBP Dota's cast of Symphony Gaming. Tonight we've got Team O Gaming going up against Nexus Gaming. I am Helium, and with me tonight, finally, back from Cuba, is Cali. What up, what up? Yeah, it's been a while since I casted, so uh, all the loyal fans will have to go easy on me, I guess, this game. <laughs> so many loyal fans. <laughs> But anyway, it looks yeah. like the draft is starting up. So Nexus, uh, actually team, no, I'm so bad at figuring out who has the first pick, first ban. So Nexus with Nexus. first ban, first pick. They yeah. take out Nakes and the Lone Druid, pretty, uh, I guess not standard, but really good carries, and then Bat Rider taken out. Yeah, I've uh, kind of noticed that Nexus, some of the carries that they don't like playing against. I've seen them ban out Phantom Lancer when he was more popular as well in the first picking uh, banning stage, rather. So. They usually like to leave uh, their options open for the utility mid kind of uh, roles like that. Uh, give Caillou someone that he can uh, just dominate the game with. And uh, I guess they're doing that. Anyway, Teemo Gaming taking out uh, the Batrider and the Keeper Light. More, uh, definitely more standard uh, first first bands here at least. Yeah, and I've been seeing every like every team recently banning out. Maybe not in professional. I haven't seen so much of the TI3 qualifiers because work conflicting, but... Uh, at least in Symphony Gaming and the show matches for Sivo, Nakes being taken out, just too good of a early game all around carry with those abilities that rage and infest and all that. And then Lone Druid with that armlet, almost near broken status, I think. So pretty good ban in the first round here. Yeah, exactly. And they're going to take Nyx first, which uh, I, I don't know, have we seen Nexus play, uh, play Nyx more as a support or more as a mid? Because I know I've seen Caillou play in mid, but um, I don't know what they've been doing more lately. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I, haven't, I mean, they were in that show match, but that was so long ago now, I don't even remember what they picked that game. But probably just going to hold on to it and, you know, most likely support, but could be uh, mid lane. Like, it could be Nyx, or Nyx should do fine against Magnus, or at least decent. Yeah. Yeah, and actually the Magnus and, and the Io coming up here. So we're going to have to see a Nexus have in mind for a counter to the Wisp because uh, something that a lot of teams struggle with is playing against a, a good Wisp player who can uh, combo with the CK or really a lot of heroes, man. You know, Even the Mag. Tiny, all those heroes. Even the Mag itself, yeah. So we'll have to see if uh, they're going to try to counter that this uh, these two picks or whether they're going to wait till the next uh, phase, maybe try to ban off some of the more important uh, heroes that can combo with that Wisp. Yeah, which could sometimes lead to, you know, wasting bans on other, like, core heroes that they might, Teemo Gaming might want to pick up. I don't know. I know yeah. Teemo Gaming a little more, I guess, renowned, at least in the, like, amateur NA tournaments for some kind of strange lineups that usually works out for them. Yeah, so we'll have to see. I don't know, what do you suspect? Do you think they'll uh, pick, in their third pick, do you think they'll go with something? A oh, right away combo? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think picking up CK third would be bad. They are on the dire, so the, you know, the the Wisp CK mid isn't as easy on the dire, but I mean, it's still pretty good. Or you can always just defensive trialing with it. Or yeah, I don't really know if they're forced to pick anything up. There's a whole lot of heroes that can combo with Wisp that you know you can't ban on all of them. Yeah, maybe we'll be seeing something like a Nature's Prophet to combo with that, or. Uh or even to counter it on um, Nexus' side. I think or it's better to counter. Um, the Storm, the, the Nature's Prophet, yeah. If you pick up Nature's Prophet and Wisp, it's just too greedy of a lineup on one team. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Luna, okay. So I guess uh, if you get jumped on by the Wisp, you can just pop that ulti. But it's, uh, you still have to be kind of careful. And Luna's, I really haven't seen Luna be picked at all in those international qualifiers that I've been watching at least. It's just been kind of, fell off the map completely. So, uh, so Nexus is trying to use the Luna here, what do you make of that? I mean, of course the aura is good, you know, any late game, if you get a pick or get a pick or two, even win a team fight, you can push towers super fast with the aura. The ultimate's really good for some early game fighting, could work well with the Wisp, you know, Wisp TPs, or leaves one behind, Luna pops Eclipse. And with the Visage here, I think we're possibly looking at the Tri-Lane, which should be pretty strong defensively, I don't know. Luna is really squishy, so you get a Chaos Bolt to the face, you know, gonna die pretty much. Yeah, that's true. There is a... 
quite a bit of, I guess, not really reach, but you know, you can get that long range slow on the visage, uh, and then followed up by impale. At least in Doom, you, you can kind of burst down pretty quickly. But and we've all seen how, how strong visage is in the trialing. So yeah, you're right. Especially Definitely a, a very strong trialing. Yeah. So Literally like one W with two charges will one shot with. Yeah, super weak, super weak early on, especially. But you know, it's it's really scary with that Chaos Knight too. So if they and they're always going to run that together pretty much. But uh, I guess the bands are going here. Uh, Gyrocopter being taken out by Nexus, followed by Templar Assassin being taken out by O Gaming. So banning out of mid there. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good uh, choice there, I think. The Refraction might be hard to... Well, the Spirits from Wisp are good with dealing with Refraction. But I guess they, they want the damage from Chaos Bolt as well as the stun time. And you wouldn't get that against a TA, because you're going to refract the Chaos Bolt most of the time. And then Shadow yeah. Demon also taken out here. Shadow Demon, really good uh, hero for stopping initiations, which is something that Chaos Knight... Uh, really excels that with that reality rift. If you just uh, either defensive disruption or just take out the chaos knight before he has the BKB, then it's always good for that. So yeah, but I don't know why they banned it out. Anyway, it's a, it's a good setup, I guess. If you uh, disrupt and then use the wisp tether, it's like an instant stun there. So maybe they thought, oh, gaming was planning something like that. Yeah, you could. It would be a good support to just land that tether first and then the chaos bolt. But anyway, more mids banned out. Teemo Gaming takes out the Quap. Just another strong mid with blinking. A little bit of a uh, global presence with the blink and just running around. That would pair decently with the Chaos Knight and the Wisp set up here. And yeah, some more bands going out. Everyone taking their time for once. Taking their time with picks and bands. <laughs> uh, and Clockwork banned out here by Nexus. Well, this isn't Sivo, so they can take their time. That and is Sivo, true. it's always a race. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Clockwork, some hear all that, uh, Icon really likes to play, he's taking it out himself. Yeah, I don't know, with Chaos Knight, Chaos Knight can just Reality Rift in and out of it, so it doesn't really matter. Like, it's not as good as it would be against, say, Nakes or, like, a less, uh, mobile melee carry that can always have to run into the cogs. Yeah, that's true. And another potentially mid-hero being banned out by O Gaming in the Panda. Uh, just a good team fight hero overall. I'm not sure if uh, Nexus has been playing that at all, but you know, Oak Gaming just decided to take it out. So three mid heroes being banned out in this second ban phase. They're really scared of that, but there's still a couple good ones, such as Puck, who's in the pool, and uh, I don't know, a few, a few other ones that I know Caillou is very capable of playing. Yeah, but Slark is picked up here. Maybe we see Slark mid. I think it'll depend on who goes mid for O Gaming. I don't think it's going to be the Wisp Chaos Knight. I mean, I guess if we see another support picked up, we'll definitely know, but I'd, I'd still expect yeah. Magnus to go there, because he's fallen off on the offlane ever since the skewer change. You still see him there occasionally, but I'm actually pretty much never. It's risky. One versus three. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really too risky to play. It's just that skewer nerf to the, to the range is just really hurting too much. In any other role, though, he's fine. In the mid, he's fine with that. That nerf doesn't really affect him. Yeah, and one-on-one -on -one in a side lane, he is also pretty uh, skilled. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, yeah, so Slark pick. Interesting. This is a very interesting pick. We've seen this a lot out of, uh, who was that, DD was doing it? Miguel? No, that was Turn Absolute that Legends. Slark. Oh, that's AL, right, sorry, yeah. Get my uh, t new, newer teams mixed up, or less famous teams, I guess. And who's on DD? Why are they doing so well? Go Black like and Silent from Empire joined DD. Oh, okay. They dropped, uh, was it Hesta Joe, Rotten, and a couple others, and picked up Go Black Silent. And then I think maybe even one more, and they've just been really solid since then. Oh, okay. Right. Also, they do go for the NP, so you say it's kind of greedy, and we do have four heroes that really need levels, I guess, at least. Uh, a few of them need farm as well. But uh, four heroes that really need levels from O Gaming, so they're gonna need a lot of experience. This might suggest that they might be doing the uh, the dual lane mid here, okay, yeah. uh, the cast nine wisp. But wow, wow, Malcolmus! I think if this Alk builds a quick shadow blade, and Slark obviously as mobile as he is, will we'll pass six and pass. Major's Prophet could have a hard time jumping in and out of the lane, so we could see that go down a lot, and then also. I don't know, if, as long as these three here on the left, you know, Nyx, Luna, Visage, rolling together, 
they should be okay versus that gank and then slark is so fast if he's anywhere close like he can probably get there before someone drops yeah yeah you're right so who do you expect in out of o gaming another supporter then i guess it must be someone yeah. semi supporty I mean, nature can jungle and you can do two off lanes. So we could have mag one on one, and then we can have an off lane one versus three, profit jungle, and then wisp ck in the mid lane. Yeah, that's true. The dark Sphere is still in the pool. Well, that's a possibility. Um, I mean, windrunners always kind of will always be able to survive, I guess. If you just play kind of carefully and stack ancients or something like that. But yeah, I don't know. There's lots of options, I guess, here for O gaming. Whether they want to just go for a full-fledged support, run the niche profit in the off lane, or and just you know go for a try lane, they can still do that if they choose. So they've left themselves a lot of options here uh, now that they fully know what Nexus is picked. And there it is, the Dark Seer that we kind of touched on. And I'm gonna switch my overlay so I don't forget. It is done. Alright, I guess we'll just wait till they get into the game. Looks like Callie let go of his transmit button, so... There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it, was too, uh, it was too choppy for me anyway. I guess my com I need to buy a new computer yeah, now that you stepped your up mic, your game. Your mic's, like, really shitty on that page. You really despite should prepare for battle. Not... Or despite having a good mic. Yeah, just the constant transmit. Yeah. Can we figure out how to work it through uh, yours now that you have a pro? Computer? Yeah, we might be able to figure out how to channel Skype into the end game uh, soon. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we might need some funding for that uh, community. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's get to the anyway. introducing uh, team O Gaming on the dire. We've got Nakami and Nakomi. Uh, I should probably figure out how to say that. He's on my friends list. Playing the CK. Uh, pay. Pay Theo. Pay Theo. Playing that nature's prophet uh, with a basilisk and a regen, so he's gonna be jungling, yeah. And Waka Flocka, that off lane yeah. mag, gonna be one on one versus Slark. Uh, M boat. Uh, I'm assuming that M stands for motor, but that's not very. It's not very uh, PG. Is this on? But anyway, <laughs> motor boat playing the dark seer. Isn't that a real word? <laughs> I guess. But yeah, it's on the internet, so we know it. We know what it means. Come on. And Party Platypus uh, playing that support wisp with lots of regen and picking up the wards as well. Yes, and on the radiant we have Nexus Gaming. We've got Icon playing that. Icon playing that Luna? Did I just? You did say Nexus that. I, I double checked it as did well. <laughs> okay, all right. So Icon taking that Luna, something that I've never seen him do, but hey, I'm sure he can handle it. Rakuto taking that Nix. Looks like they're both top right now. They're going to be there with the Vistage as well, playing by. Is that either Meow or Purr? I'm it's it's sure Fallen. It's Purr, right? Okay, Fallen. Well, I'll call him Fallen then, I guess. I'll have to remember. Yeah, In the middle is Caillou taking that Alchemist. Uh, there he's got uh, Stoke Shield, so I guess either going for that Vanguard or just a little bit of early uh, defense. And finally, in the bottom, we have Morphin taking that Slick. Yeah, so Alchemist in the mid lane, what do you think? Well, what I'm thinking is, yeah, he's already got it. The Acid Spray versus those two to keep him off the lane. Seems like a pretty good idea, but I still think he'll go down easily versus that Wisp CK combo. Yeah, the only thing is that it does take quite a lot of mana, so you can't really spam it. He's going to stack this uh, little camp here and probably farm that with Acid Spray later on, which is a, a smart thing to do, against, especially against a dual lane where you really can't go to the other side of the river. Do you think that Alchemist is going to be picking up a Soul Ring to spam that and sort of shut down the mid, or...? Uh, he could. It's kind of a big investment uh, for a mid, I guess, but you see DKs doing that sometimes just to spam their fire. Uh, right now, though, Nakomi is just pretty much free farming. He's uh, He's been denying and last hitting, uh, you know, whenever he wants yeah, to. Yeah, wow, 5-5. Five so. five. That's like the whole first wave. He killed every creep in the first wave, pretty much. Yeah. And denied like everything too. Yeah, but well, that's what I meant. Every creep anyway. on both sides. All uh, right. Looks like uh, Nexus kind of want to make a go. They can't really do much against this uh, safe lane darkster though. If he just sits by his tower. I think he's gonna be fine, especially with that surge. All he has to do is worry about the impale, and as soon as that's done, you can pretty much safely surge away. Yeah, well, they can't do anything yet. I think once they both, uh, everyone in that lane hits level two, maybe level three, they'll have that mana burn. They'll have the stun. Uh, maybe Mana Leak picked up second, but probably not. You need the Chakra Magic on Caudal. Uh, with the Illuminate, 
Wait, what am I saying? What am I saying? Kata's not even in this game. Kata? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I was mind. just kind of accepting it. I was just like, Nyx Coddle, that's definitely what is on that lane. But no, sorry, if you uh, bait that Surge out with the Impale and then you pop the Grave Chill, they might have enough there. But yeah, I mean, Visage pretty much wasted up here with his Soul Assumption, never gonna get any charges on that, that's for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind if they, uh, after after Icon gets a few uh, levels, maybe some items, they just kind of leave him there against the Dark Surge. Should be fine, or at least just leave one support. I think Visage should go in mid, because that's where a lot of hero damage is going to come from with the AoE damage from Wisp being thrown out with the Spirits. Yeah, for sure. And Kainu just continuing to stack the small can. He's definitely going to get gold that way. That's that's actually really good for his uh, his green. Yeah, because he gets yeah. the the plus off of no matter what he kills. Well, it's only plus yeah. four at level one, but you know, it's still pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely going to help him out. He's up to five hundred gold without. I don't even think getting any any of the normal creeps at least. Yeah, gonna be able to continue to kill the small camp, uh, and stack and kill with the- as long as he's got the acid spray. Shouldn't lose too much health, but now he's a little weaker as he heads into lane. Still has a lot of regen. Do you think he'll go bottle? Probably not, I would assume, on an alchemist here. Uh, you could, but it's- it's kinda hard to get the runes in the middle anyway with that wisp, just always being aware of that. It's really all the wisp has to worry about is, I guess, getting ready for a tether, but really keeping track of the time and, and going for the runes when you can. Uh, Caillou did manage to pick up a haste, though, at the last one, so, yeah, it, you know, a bottle wouldn't be the worst. What's coming out now? Yeah, it is a bottle. Alright, so we got a smoke up. Uh, Rakuto was working away, chipping some mana away from that Darkseer with the mana burn, but then they retreat back into the jungle, they popped up the smoke, now Fallen and Rakuto have sort of split up a little bit, but they probably want to take out this Wisp in the mid lane as Caillou is approaching. He's got Unstable Concoction skilled up at level 1, so we might see our first bit of action here in the mid lane. If not bottom, Morphin pretty low, but... Head back to the mid lane and see what can get done. There's the initiation there from the Dyer, so they go on Caillou. But here comes the support from the back end, and I think this is going to be bad for O Gaming if Caillou lives through this, which looks like he's going to. Although Waka Flocka, get, or Waka Flocka gets uh, first blood in the bot lane, and then in the mid lane, unstable concoction thrown. So Alk picks up a kill on Io, but a nice solo kill from the mag in the bot lane. Did you see any of that? I'd imagine a shockwave was probably no. used. Yeah, I was watching it as well. But, um,. Yeah, anyway, Pathio is uh, it's gonna go bottom and pick up the Invisions, so just really... Get the rune. <laughs> yeah, o, o, o Gaming really has a lot to get runes here. It's gonna be hard for Kai, you might just have to resort to bottle crying. But yeah, that kill's gonna really help him out, just uh, struggling here in the early game, with Nokomi just free farming, and luckily Nokomi did not die for O Gaming, it's just the Wisp. Yeah, but uh, I think they should go for the Wisp every time, they're probably smarter. It's the Wisp with the levels that really yeah. starts that combination off in the first place, so if you keep Wisp down... Although, Wisp level 3 at 6 minutes, that's not too bad. Nikomi oh, is 5. Man. I don't know, we got some more action. Waka Flocka is now engaged upon with Morphin. Looks like Morphin gonna pick up this kill, no problem. Got the Orb of Venom up. That's 12% slow. And also the stats still skilled up level 1 uh, with Pounce maxed here. So not a whole lot of burst damage from the Dark Pack, but every time you hit someone with that Essence Shift, you actually lower their max HP, so... I mean, it's Yeah, and, pretty and really a uh, beautiful job there. Beautiful job there by Morphin, got the end, uh, just really making sure to stay in front of the of the skewer so that he was brought with uh, the Magnus there. Yeah, I noticed that. That was a uh, good positioning. Yeah, and he's picked up that early Orb of Venom, which uh, we see a lot of slugs do just for that little bit of slow and a little bit of uh, damage over time as well. And the off chance still get fat enough to make a uh, scatty. And apparently Furion was lagging, yeah. but I'd counter that with, like, you need a good ping to play Furion in the jungle. Yeah, just a click. <laughs> Slow down his tree micro. It's tree switching off the creeps there. And Caillou continuing to stack up here at that small camp, so doing well. Fallen rotating back top. And let's talk about this nature's profit. Did I just miss a kill again? Gosh darn it. Too much action here in the bottom, bottom lane, so Waka Flocka picks up that Does kill that again. Uh, goes right back down. Gets the kill on Morphin. Oh, did you just leave the uh, vent because of people joining and leaving, or? Radiance bottom tower is under or did you attack. lag out? Well, Kelly might have lagged out, so looks like it's back to a solo cask. I think I'm pretty used to this these days. So, Icon farming in the top lane, checking on those last hits now. 
Uh, 27 last hits, 34 by Nakomi on that CK. And in the bot lane, looks like Morphin in a lot of trouble. He's going on Flocka, but there's the tether. Powdy Platypus coming in from the jungle, tethers up. No uh, dust or sentries, though, so Morphin able to regain a lot of health. He's got to get out of there, though. That shockwave is just going to be enough. Falls him through the trees as he pounced over. I thought he was going to be uh, going to get out of that with that pounce, but Waka picks up yet another kill. So he's 3-1 and one now on the bottom lane. At least Morphin was able to pick up one kill against him, but... It wasn't quite enough. Checking in with Caillou, 25 last hits. A lot of those are going to be the small jungle creep. So not quite as much gold as normal. But with his Grievel's gold, it probably is. Like, he's just last inning in the mid lane. So doing pretty well against that CK Wisp, as Wisp was even killed uh, in that lane. And then who else is farming well? Not to mention Radiant three kills. Well, I guess we already did mention those. But now Flocka with 40 CS as well. Highest on the map right now at 7 minutes. So doing really well. Slark not really phasing him too much. And now Slark comes back into the lane. And also a rotation from the supports. Can the Grave Chill make it in time? There's a skewer out. And nope. Magnus too fast oh, nice with those skewer. mana boots. Did you lag out? Bottom tower is being yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bad connection or something. I don't know what's out of it. Silly connection. Dota hates me. <laughs> Seriously. Time to upgrade that computer. Yeah. I went over but anyway, let's the, check uh, the last hits and coming. everything, so now we can just talk about item choice or strategies that we think both teams should take. Alright, well Waka's on that Magnus really close to his blink dagger, only got 500 gold away. He's already got his arcane boots, but Cause it's he's kind one. of trapped in here. He he's is. In trees. I he's think I find three. Him. He's got RP, might be able to take out Kaya, but Kaya oh, they know. a bit with that bottle, and yeah, they're, they're aware he's here, the mana burn comes out the concoction gonna use rp not gonna stun long enough concoction gonna be able to be thrown out pretty much max party platypus and ck come to join the fun but nyx with the three-man stun waka goes down but here comes patheo and icon rotating down now popping that eclipse out so two down now only visage dropping for nexus and they're continuing on nikomi so nikomi gonna drop here as well pretty much as good as dead a nice two-man sprout there by prophet Nakomi continues to juke, tries to TP out, not going to make it. Now Prophet going to go down as well. The unstable concoction queued up here. And Spiked Carapace even stunning uh, Nature's Prophet because the trees were attacking Nyx. And farming up the trees there, so pretty good fight. I don't I don't know, Waka was having a good game, looking yeah. for a kill, but maybe a little overextended and kind of baited his global team in. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly right. Yeah, it's just a little bit out of position. Got a decent RP off. He was able to turn uh, turn RP then into the trees and then get a nice tether stun on, I believe it was the Alchemist, or maybe it was the Visage. But uh, yeah, bringing out his whole team in there and pretty much to their deaths after a really fast response from uh, from Icon especially, just TPing in, dropping that Eclipse, getting a few kills there. So a nice job there by Nexus. Always carry TPs. Best item in the game. It really is. And yeah, so treads. But if we, yeah, let's look at the items here. Nakomi with the treads, like you just said. Waka Flocka has got those arcanes. We mentioned that. Nothing really big. I guess they're just kind of farm up and wait. Profit needs a bit more for his Midas, so Midas. they're gonna wait for that for sure. Yeah, and just some, just some minor items. Icon picked up those, uh, that Ring of a Quill. What do you think he's gonna go for? Icon on the Luna here. Does he need a BKB? Let's check. Uh, it would be nice for the Chaos Bolt, but not going to do much if Chaos Knight's wailing on you with illusions. Uh, RP goes through it, so maybe he might skip that uh, BKB, maybe just go for a Yasha, get a Manta up. Or even, uh, you know, Helmet Dominator, like yeah, Manta, Yasha, Manta, Satanic, or something like that. In the bot lane, we got a whole lot of fighting Fine, TPs in, man. the global strat comes out, relocate, use, nice two-man stun from Rakuto. Morphin actually going to live through oh. that! And so fast with that pounce, RP and Sprout both oh. miss, so RP was used on nothing. And now they're sent back, and now diving behind the tower are Waka and Papio. Morphin's still gonna go down though, and now Icon coming in to clean up probably. Uh, Rakuto gonna miss that stun, but Papio gonna go down. So Icon picks up another kill. I think if Morphin played that just a little safer, he probably could have lived through that. Just continuing yeah, tweaking he, in the trees. Yeah, he, he did have pounds to leap into the trees, but just used it on the prof there, kept him there, and I guess they did get a kill, and RP was used, so very expensive gank there from O Gaming, and all they did get was a Slark, and it was really just a trade for the niche profit. Yeah, actually, or absolutely, I mean, but uh, I don't know, I think it's not, I can't <laughs> well, speak. Actually. Actually. But Morphin here, what I was going to say, sort of why I was thinking actually, like he's a snowballing sort of, uh, you know, semi-carry, and he's having a tough game, so I don't know how big of an impact that Slark is actually going to have now. I mean, he's not farming horribly, he's got 41, but he's got also three deaths, I believe. 
four. He's one, four, and one right now. So. Yeah. He is a, a level ahead of, of the Darkseer, though, which is kind of good. But yeah, like you said, different kind of hero. The Darkseer doesn't really need that much farm. As long as you have your ultimate, uh, you're going to contribute no matter what. And it's always easy to catch up in the jungle with that uh, with that Anon shell. Level four maxed out now with Soul Ring. So sharing the jungle with the Nature's Prophet, but still going to pick up his farm eventually. Yeah, so it looks like he'll have that mechanism up pretty soon. Midas finished now on Nature's Prophet. Uh, Morphin finds M Boat here on the Dark Seer. Just gonna run away. That Ion Shell would actually be quite a bit of damage. And Icon, has he bought any items? It looks like he is gonna go for BKB. He's got the Ogre Club, so proving me wrong. I guess the Tether Stun also. Pretty annoying. Uh, Fallen TP's down. Yeah. And the Dark Seer, really. I mean, that's, I'd say, the main reason to go for BKB in this game. Is just to avoid all that damage. Being caught out here, the tether breaks. Rakuto actually gets stunned up, but he's still in Viz. Wisp immediately bursted down. Visage with a full tank of Soul Assumption here. Two man impale, nice. Gonna delay the RP, but it still goes off. And wow, Nakomi lives through that. Able to take out three heroes there. Waka getting a double kill. Nature's Prophet picking up the other. Only Wisp down, so a one for three trade for O Gaming. Going very much in the favor of them. And that's the blink dagger on Magnus. Yeah, that RP came off cooldown just in time there. And able to get off a really nice one there. So pretty fortunate there. Even even though it was a great initiation, I, I feel like for Nexus, especially with that two man impale, I felt like that was going to turn the tide. But yeah, the RP is such a strong ultimate. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought fight was over when that RP went out. I mean the two man impale. Always gank up top. And up top, ganking Morphin again. In trouble. That was an insane pounce. He did like a triple backflip. And anyway, pops his ultimate. Still no vision there. Icons up here, but doesn't have Eclipse. Going to be easily burst down. Just one Chaos Bolt. Icon's gonna die here. There's TP support coming in at the tier two, but that's a four second stun. Waka Flocka in the meantime, picking up another kill in the bot lane. It looks like he took out Nyx Assassin and Nakomi gets a double kill in the top. Fallen though, trying to pick up a kill here, but might go down as well. Another three second stun from Nakomi. So big plays with that, uh... Oh, but here comes Caillou to end all of Nakomi's fun. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, Visage gonna pick that up with the familiars. And now the chain stun, really chain stun. A little too fast, but... Got them both. It wouldn't have really mattered anyway. Caillou's got a concoction here, but now Wisp coming in to help out. Who's gonna get this regen? Looks like it's gonna be that Wisp. Radiant stop tower. That's gonna be huge for uh, healing up someone who he tethers to. Yeah, uh, for is. sure. But yeah, Caillou uh, using his bottle anyway. I think he's gonna be fine. Looks like he spent his gold, so maybe he's got. Yeah, he's got almost an armlet completed right now. Just needs the recipe. Yeah, moderately quick armlet with a you know hero that has a built-in Midas, so he's farming pretty well. Uh, especially given that lane situation, one versus two in the mid lane. Uh, Icon now at 64, he did go down, and as a result of that, he's not really, he's nowhere close to a BKB. And there's the blink out from the mag, or no, blink in rather, and the concoction goes out, stuns him up, able to separate. Meanwhile, Rakuto picked off pretty much instantly there. So another good pickup for O Gaming, not even having to use this uh, tether relocate combo. And they lose another tower, second tower of the game to go down. O Gaming picks up uh, the bot tier one a little bit earlier, we saw, and then the top tier one goes down right now. But back to mid, a whole lot of fighting falling. Four seconds stun. Nakomi with the luck on the CK, but even without the luck. Still playing the better game here. And solo RP used on Icon. Icon's got Eclipse, not gonna have the time to use it. The tether stun is nice. He actually does get it off, but it goes down. And yeah, just this fight going all wrong. Rakuto's back in, about to die again. Chaos Bolt is up, gonna be thrown, and just four seconds. Wouldn't matter anyway, he just burst him, but still. I've seen a three, a four, a three, Radiant's four, and a three. Tower like, is under attack. GG. I have no reason to lie about such yeah, those drums really paying off early game, for sure. It looks like they want to take this tier two right now. They're not even gonna wait. They just profit split pushing up top, so pressure has been kind of split up here for Nexus, and they kind of have to cover all the bases. Yeah, this empower on the CK is just. It's kind of nuts. CK hits for over like 160 Strange right now. Say, um, and the, with the Wisp, has overcharge now. And anyway, four seconds done Ooh, again force. onto Caillou. Nexus has got to be slightly angry about that. But anyway, turning this fight around, Caillou still alive. Able to turn around, throw this in. No, not anymore. Waka Flocka ends that fun.
or the hope that Alchemist might survive. Now Rakuto goes down as well. Icon doesn't have that uh, clip, she used it last fight and then sort of went down. But Waka Flocka has pretty much wasted everything. Five seconds on that blink tape. Deep TP. Looks like he'll probably be able to get away. Blink, 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 blink. Able to get away. So he gets out, no problem there. Morphin on the chase. Looks like Visage picked up Nature's Prophet somewhere around this area. Uh, the bottom trees there. Yeah. And the relocate going oh, off in the mid lane, and I had Kali, they just won't give you a chance to talk about anything because the action just keeps going down. Morphin really fast, running away from this. The spirit's going to get vision, reality rift into the trees with the tether stun, and going down. 19 to 11 right now is the score, which probably look at the gold graphs here pretty soon, so I'll let you take control of that. And boat's kind of in trouble here, but oh, uh, not yet. let's see if he can surge, surge away. He's got one surge. You can play by play this one if you want. Uh, he's going down. Alchemist needs one more attack. Looks like he might get wow, away he here. Wow, he might actually Unless get out of this. Quick stun. He's got no mana. There's no way. Caillou's yeah. super fast with that ultimate. Oh, an icon just go. coming from the side. Snipes Surprise. it out of the clips. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's look at the go graph. Looks like it's about 8k. And wait, wait, wait. RP in the middle. Out. Waka Flock is going fast. crazy here with no health. Right into CK. What a combo. But now Waka actually going to live through that and Caillou possibly in danger here, but no, Rakuto with the two-man impale doesn't get the Vendetta strike out, but <laughs> the familiars roll up and just take out Wiz. Yeah, all in that acid spray. He was, he was taking a lot of beating there, but... Okay, back to the gold grass. We got about 8k uh, for O Gaming, maybe a little bit more now after those kills register, and pretty much the exact same for the experience. So, really dipped down after they started to snowball. It was about zero for for the longest time there, but once that CK got his drums up and they started taking towers with a few nice mag ultis, then you know that's when things started going sour for Nexus. But it's really not over yet. They can definitely come back from this uh, from this deficit. Yeah, arguably the you know the later game lineup here. When you go that Alchemist, you go that Luna. Both are pretty item dependent. I mean, Alchemist needs to hit hard and be a little bit tanky to be on the front lines, and then Luna pretty much needs a BKB and she'll be ready to go. But yeah, I don't know. You never want to go late game against that Nature's Prophet with that split push. Yeah, definitely. But uh, Caillou has picked up his armlet, so that's one good thing for him. Looks like Nakomi's got some malicious thoughts here though for him. And Kai's gonna have to be careful. If, if some support comes in real quick, here comes Waka Flocka. He does have that blink dagger. But Caillou is wise to this plot, and he's gonna run back now. It looks like he'll be alright. The armlet's finished. Uh, Rakuto with the soul ring. So that's a little bit interesting on the Nyx, but I mean, you always want that mana, I guess. A little bit cheaper than the mana boots. Yeah. Yeah, if we look at uh, O Gaming side, we've got the BKB already finished on Waka Flocka, so pretty much a guaranteed. A uh, good RP, which is coming off cooldown right now. And uh, let's see, Nature Prophet, Shadow Blade. I'm not sure if you mentioned that uh, while I was away or whatever, but it's got that. So split pushing is going to be so annoying right now for Nexus. And an uh, early game item on the Wisp there that Urn. I think you said. I don't. I don't even remember, but that'll help out with the push, the healing, a little bit more damage, but probably better use for healing. Oh, and a bird sniped out. Yeah. Go the way of Waka Flocka. Gonna get another one actually. Snipes them both. So another 200 gold in the bank there. Waka Flocka having a one hell of a game. 9, 2, and 6 right now. Uh, check this. Probably should have the net worth tab. I've been forgetting to do that recently. But we see the top three uh, on the net worth for O Gaming right here. Waka Flocka on the Magnus at 8.1. Then Nature's Profit. Uh, I don't remember who's playing that. And then Nakomi, 7.1k. And Pathia, yeah. yeah. At work. I had to go back and find okay, out. Yeah. I can't disrespect him like that. Whoa! RP oh. blown on nothing right uh -oh. there in the mid lane. Maybe the time to fight right now for Nexus. I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah, I think uh, he went in to go blink, but he got hit by the acid spray at the last second. Oh, I'm just sure that's what okay, happened. Okay, yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. That's going to stop the push right there for Ogin. Shows how strong that ability is. How dependent it seems. Uh, yeah. Rallies around RP. Like, oh, RP's gone. Peace. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Maybe they try Roche in the meantime, but same thing. Without RP, I think it's kind of risky. But with Empower on two, mm -hmm. it would die pretty quickly. Maybe Nexus is gonna try to take advantage of this, knowing that. Familiars right. get stunned out. Embo stuck in the stun, tethered up. I really like Slark against Darkseer. Waka Flocka blinks in. Oh, I cursed him. I said he was having a great game, and then two big mistakes, like back to back, <laughs> right there. Uh, now they're TPing out. That one. 
That one was kind of like a fool's hope. Maybe I'll bring the whole team into my squad. Yeah. And, uh, that poor man's RP right there. He's not a poor man, though. He's got the highest net worth in the game. Well, without RP, it's a oh, poor yeah, man's yeah. RP. <laughs> Yeah, but the and push up top, they're gonna have to respond or this tower's going down. Exactly, well yeah, 250 health, Whiskey no fortify. Bottom. Icon comes in, uh, gonna try to deny but no, the trance and the creep wave get there first. Check and in the bot lane, two. yeah, Morphin finding himself again in trouble. The relocate gank goes off and they take him down with three seconds to spare. And now they head right back over to the ancient area. Now Caillou finding himself in trouble in the mid lane. There's Magnus, RP in five. Patheo, he can pop the Shadow Blade to maybe get the speed to land the Sprout, or the Vacuum will just be enough. Do they have the damage to kill him here? I mean, he's got almost 3k health. He's blocked off the tether, still has yet to land. Magnus gets it now. They're gonna slow him down. Reality Risk Chaos Bowl. Four second stun, you know, because that's all Nakomi gets. <laughs> Four second stuns are too easy for this guy. Seriously. Uh, I was gonna mention that Wisp gank in the bottom was uh, absolutely perfect timing by Nakomi with that reality rift. Did it right as Slark was, uh, as Marfrim was leaping there, and then they dusted promptly after that to get the sun off. So yeah, good kill there, and then able to get back into the mid for that kill on the Alchemist too. So really nice play here by uh, Party Platypus uh, handling this Wisp. Yeah, and those pickoffs allow them to just go in and take this Roche. RP's back up wasn't used to kill Caillou, so now they can pretty much safely fight here in this pit. And Overcharge, now at level 3 on Wisp. Not even using it actually yet, but... Gonna get that Alk... <laughs> God! Gonna get that Roche at uh, 22.55. And Nakomi picks up that Aegis, so... Look for them to use that. Maybe even try to break high ground uh, within the next 6 minutes. The bait CK with that Aegis. You know, just wail on the tower a little bit with Empower. Yeah, and the, uh, the, uh, the RP is up, so it looks like they're rotating bottom right now. Icon... Uh, not sure if he sees it coming, but he's definitely backing off right now. So pretty much the only outer tower left, and I think it's a smart move to take this out before going for the high, uh, the high ground there. Yasha up on Nakomi, so possibly going the Manta, uh, most likely going the Manta. Caillou looks like he's working towards uh, an AC, I would imagine, with that plate mail icon. Yet to get that BKB up. Morphin also working on a BKB. Possibly. He's got belt of strength as well. I'm not sure what that's about. Probably was thinking think Basher, and then Sanj. was like BKB yeah. or Sand. Oh, or Sand. Yeah, what am I even saying? Yeah, he's definitely going for that. He might even go on Pathia here. And this is the. Uh, bottom yeah, it looks like he the might get there. in. The relocate comes top. Uh, slow down the push that's mounting bottom. But it looks like Morphin fast enough to probably get out of this. Oh, maybe not. That was a good sprout. An RP used here, but did he just dark packed RP? I think he did. That ability <laughs> is dumb. And it gets the kill. That's pretty silly. On Nature's Prophet. So Morphin That's luck for you. getting really lucky. Uh, well, maybe he timed it perfectly with the dark pack, but we'll just assume he was pretty lucky there. Getting out of that. And then Reality goes in the bot lane on Rakuto. Two seconds done. It's the worst one we've ever seen this game. And Nakomi uh, getting yet another kill with that Wisp. Or actually, Wisp picks it up. But So Party Padablis having a fun game as CK's doing quite well. And they're just best buddies rolling around, getting kills. He's got a lot of gold right now, the, uh, the Wisp does. BKB is finished here on Icon we'll as they come to initiate. Will they know? Will he be able to pop it well, off in time? Like no, the tether's done, then four seconds. Four seconds done. And they're probably going to pick him up. Sun should be running out though. Probably oh, Clips is used. Oh, Maybe a bit of a mistake. Finished. And then Visage disappeared. As well as the familiars. Yeah, just pretty much annihilated. Almost got a Party Platypus there. Visage sticking around to throw that Soul Assumption, but instantly. One shot pretty much, or I guess three shots from the three CKs. Yeah, and the Wisp ultimate is up again, so that maybe they can try for Morphin again, although it didn't really work last time. It's gonna go on Pathio here, but not really. Rikudo trying time, to defend with his that life. Post. Solo initiates onto Nakomi, <laughs> and Caillou here with the max stun does about no damage to him, but that tether regen is just pretty nuts with uh, Wisp earning himself. It's like sitting in the fountain almost. Yeah. Waka Flocka does have RP up again, as well as 2200 gold. Uh, the BKB has not been used yet, so he's got a full 10 second charge, a little bit of a room for error there, you know, if he if he decides to use it early. But uh, So I guess that acid spray incident won't happen again if he pops it. Looks if like he he's taking out the skewer there a little bit. Yeah, if or he uses the... Uh, I'm not sure. 
the BKB prior to wanting to go blink initiate, then acid spray won't be a big deal. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yep. Morphin actually 200 gold away from a uh, completed San Yasha, so desperately finding his farm up in top lane. He's been hanging out there pretty much all day while the rest of the team defends. So hopefully that pays off for Nexus, uh, makes for an interesting game. If they can hold off, maybe Dark Pact another RP. And, Seriously. Uh, and go for some kills in the team fight, yeah. But man, this overpower on the CK is a lot of damage right now. And the Ion Shell to boot. He's yeah, got a full Manta waiting in his uh, stash. Maybe one, what was that? An earthquake or just RP being stopped animation there by Waka Flocka? Trying to waste it again. But yeah, and who picked yeah. up the Aegis? Nakomi still has that, so they've got a minute and 50 seconds here to use it. And there goes the pipe, probably want to break the high ground with it. I mean, Nakomi can just feed himself and then come back alive. So we'll see how that works out for him. Or just go nuts. There's the uh, BKBs popped off. Nakomi now stunned up a little bit. Waka Flocka with the BKB. Wanted to RP, but looking for more than just one. He's getting pretty low. He can turn and get two now, maybe. Oh, or even skewer back for three. But still just waiting for that perfect moment as Nakomi fighting here. Still alive, hasn't died yet. Bursting down Caillou. Three seconds stun. Gonna run out. But there's a two-man RP on the carries, and that's exactly what they needed. So the patience paid off there by Waka Flocka on the... Uh, God, on the Magnus, and then CK drops, and the Aegis is popped. It had another minute up, so pretty much pretty efficient there with the Aegis use. Yeah. Now Fallen could find himself in trouble. To bring his a two second too. stun, I don't believe it, but the oh, Blink and Skewer Tether stun back. Uh, gonna be enough to pick off Morph in there. And it looks like this could be the mid racks, at least the tier 3 tower as no one really responds for about 15 seconds to say, and Glyph already used. Tower is under attack. Yep, looks like it'll be uh, the bottom racks. Even uh, Patheo not even joining in, he could TP in and help out the middle there, but Manta style coming out right now on that, uh, as well as a Mystic Staff on the chicken, so I guess that's what Nakomi was waiting for, just for his age to go down, free up a slot, didn't want to drop any other item. But that's just going to make him so much stronger. That was. I was fighting without a Mantis style. Full Mantis style. Exactly. And Rakuto goes in with a Vendetta. Bursts on Wisp, but is it going to be enough? Wisp, still alive, finally goes down now. Fallen with full charges still. It's getting pretty low. There's the Skewer from Waka Flocka, BKB, the Pipe. And Darkseid with the Pipe mech. We hadn't really touched on that. So two down now. Morphin dies as well to Chaos Knight. And now Caillou. Everyone going on Waka Flocka solo. Uh, he's getting pretty low. He finally goes down there. Nice vacuum on three. Uh, M boat taking a lot of damage from these. But meanwhile, Nakomi just getting that two three tower goes back in immediately. Just destroys Nyx. Nyx was there, and then he was gone. And now M boat maybe gonna go down to Morphin here. He's lash leashed up. Nakomi could actually die. Looks like he is gonna go down. So Kaya picks up a whole lot of gold for that. About seven hundred. Plus, uh, plus what is it? <laughs> or yeah, plus four gold for his extra bonus. Oh no, it's ten plus four. Anyway, oh nice blink out there by Waka Flocka to dodge the uh, stun there by Kai. He's gonna stun himself, but they did get, they caused a big ruckus in the bottom lane. Even Waka Flocka buying back after he died. But uh, yeah, able to get that bottom tower as well is gonna make breaking that high ground a lot easier the second time. Or they can just four man top and profit will get it uh, when they're distracted because having no yeah. problem winning these fights with four people uh, is Team O Gaming. Uh, Luna is still pretty squishy going against that CK with the Manta armlet. Hidden like a truck right now. Gonna have what, six CKs there? Or one, two, five CKs. Unless he picks up an illusion rune, then we'll have seven. Did, yeah. Exactly. Did the illusions reality rift with you if they're from illusion runes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. That's amazing. All, just all illusions. Yeah, I think all illusions do. Shadow Demon, Illusion Rune, Manta, Phantasm. Yeah, and any images you have, yeah, it must be all. And then that would be... Like they want to that would be nine. New. That'd be nine CKs. Yeah, Kai's actually got his uh, full assault, assault curse, so... You know, it's not really over, I guess, for next. They've only lost one Rax. They did lose the tower bottom. There is quite a lot of farm uh, for O-Gaming out in the lead, but, you know, a, a lucky team fight here for next, and I think they can maybe at least delay the game uh, a little bit more. Morphin in trouble oh, up top. Here. Waka Flocka blinks and skewer back RP. Morphin, though, still running. And probably going to go down there. Nature's Call going to be enough in the Strange Iron Shell damage. Takes him out. But yeah, I mean, it's not over with one lane of racks. I think if we get two lanes of racks uh, going against a Prophet, that's uh, kind of GG. Like, 
if you try to trade a Rax yeah, for anything, you're gonna get mega. Yeah. So we'll see how. And Nakomi's still like sort of snowballing right now. And Rakuto gets stunned up, stuns them up rather. Now Nakomi gonna pop that solo Eclipse just for him. And Icon. It seems like none of those went on the creep, so I feel like Icon got kind of lucky there with that Eclipse beam. <laughs> Yeah, well, Caillou with the AC just wailing on him also yeah. did tons and tons of damage, so... I think it was a kill regardless. I think so too. But nice job there, anyway. Uh, Party Platypus picks up a Ghost Scepter, doesn't want to get burst down by the Alchemist, who's starting to hit hard now. Uh, Patheo on the Nature's Prophet, he's picked up a Sheep Stick, Shiva's Guard, Pipe, Mech, so M-Boat having a pretty uh, good game himself. Waka Flocka, uh, Force Staff, as well as the Blink and BKB. And then Mansa Armlet drums here on the CK. So everyone with their core items plus some, honestly. And even Wisp with that Ghost Scepter, as I mentioned a bit earlier. And Midas on the Prophet. AC finished on Caillou. Nothing new yet on Icon. SNY on Morphin. Not even a mech yet on Fallen, but he's getting there now, and that'll help out. Oh, no, he's not. He's still 900 away. Yeah. Yeah, the supports for Nexus are really just suffering the most, I guess. Uh, the Alchemist can, you know, get as much farm, can catch up as much as he likes, but if you don't really have the supports like O Gaming does, who do they got? The Wisp, who just has Ghost Scepter, can pretty much survive the attacks of the Alchemist by himself. And uh, of course, the Nature Prophet, not really a, a huge support, but has the Sheep Stick, has all that farm, so it's going to be hard for Nexus here, but they're going to wait for that second fight and really try to make a last stand, I feel. Yeah, but no, gonna go for the Roche. They maybe they want to fight at the Roche pit, but it could be a little risky. I think. Well, actually, Wisp CK can probably just solo this no problem. Overcharge tether up. But no, here comes the rest of the team. Everyone joining in now. So Nexus probably knows, but I mean, what can they really do about it? Yeah, they're stuck here. They just pick up as much farm as you can in this little uh, lull of the activity here uh, while this happens. Didn't take very long, but. Kai, he's gonna try to find the ancients here in the meantime. Uh, he's getting he's getting his farm. He's he's almost got two K now, so I would have to say that BKB is probably the next choice just to avoid the CK damage. That will help out immensely. And yeah, so Roach goes down about 3320. So look for them to probably just use the Aegis right away, but definitely by uh, 3920. Try to break that high ground. Well the high ground will be easily broken here with that pipe. And see where the sheep stick goes on. If they can get that sheep stick off on I guess Alchemist, because he doesn't have a BKB, so definitely going to be going on him. Yeah, looking for him actually with Patheo there, and then high ground. Waiting for him to run back, but smartly TPing here at the Caillou. Now working towards the refresher here is Waka Flocka. Finally, well probably for a while now, uh, overtaken on the net worth. Now we got CK and Nature's Prophet ahead of him, but Waka Flocka is still third, which means he's above Alchemist still. <laughs> And the Rack's gonna get wailed on. Fortify is popped. And there's just a billion CKs right now. All kind of nowhere. All stuck around this Rack's. The stun goes out. Nakomi stunned for a long time. Eclipse gets popped, but there's a lot of creep darks here with a good wall. RP on to three. Caillou gonna go down. The first one to drop here. Actually gonna go down and then quickly followed up by Icon going down. Now Rakuto, Morphin uh, being really slippery, just getting out of there. Uh, diving into the fountain pretty much here. Actually, Caillou buys back. Wants to go on CK, who still has the Aegis, didn't even go down. Waka Flocka, no skewer yet. But yeah, I think um, yeah. that's the bot Rax. They're just Stop taking out the Rax there. And Nexus uh, Icon calls the GG. So OG with a nice win here. Uh, pretty much dominated the entire game. If you look at the gold graph, you can just see. And same with XP, constantly in favor of them since the start. Yeah, the, they just allowed the CK a little bit too much farm in the middle lane, just putting the Alchemist there. Um, he did end up getting his farm up a little bit, Caillou, but the CK free farming and the Wisp getting a little bit of experience in the middle lane as well just allowed uh, uh, O Gaming to just kind of control the map and really dictate the flow of the game. So I feel like that was Nexus's uh, mistake there, I guess, getting a little bit of, uh, ex of farm on the Luna in exchange for the farm, a lot of farm for the CK. So, um, yeah, there you go. I'm also not sure how well the uh, Slark versus Magnus in the bot lane worked out. I mean, Strange Magnus was 3-1, and one, and Slark was 1-3, and three, and those were all solo kills. So, I don't know if it was a misplay on Morphin's part, or just, you know, Magnus beats Slark. I mean, Slark is pretty squishy. That shockwave hurts. Yeah. But, anyway, I guess we should plug ourselves and do a little bit of plugging for other things. Speaking of 
I think I have the Sivo logo still on. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, we're Helium and Cali from FMBP Dota. So if you're watching on the Twitch, please subscribe. Twitch.tv slash FMBP Dota. Also have a YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash FMBP Dota. Uh, we're very close now. Eight more subscribers and we'll give out an in-game cosmetic set. Apparently. I don't even know if we should anymore because it's been so long. And then keep watching the stream. Well. On Monday, there's a big SIVO show match. Uh, if we get over 100 viewers on that, we might be giving out a hardware prize. And that's all I have to say there. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.